Hi everyone. Welcome to Learn English with Podcast Conversations. I'm your host Emma, and today I have a special guest with me. She is my friend Ava, who is also an intermediate English learner. Say hello Ava. Hello everyone. I'm happy to be here with Emma. Ava and I are going to have a conversation in English about a topic that we both like. We will use some new words and phrases that you can learn and practice. At the end of the podcast, we will review the vocabulary and grammar that we used. Are you ready, Ava? Yes, I I'm ready. What is the topic for today? The topic for today is my favorite hobby. Do you know what hobby means? Yes, I do. Hobby means an activity that you do for fun or pleasure in your free time. That's right. A hobby is something that you enjoy doing and that makes you happy. It can be anything, such as reading, writing, painting, gardening, cooking, playing games, etc. What is your favorite hobby, Emma? My favorite hobby is knitting. Do you know what knitting means? Yes, I do. Knitting means making clothes or other things from wool or yarn by using two long needles. That's right. Knitting is a craft that involves creating fabric by looping yarn together. You can knit different things, such as scarves, hats, sweaters, blankets, etc. Why do you like knitting, Emma? I like knitting because it is relaxing and rewarding. It helps me to calm down and focus on the present moment. It also gives me a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction when I finish a project. I also like knitting because it is creative and expressive. It allows me to choose the colors, patterns, and styles that I like. It also allows me to make unique and personalized gifts for my friends and family. How did you learn to knit, Emma? I learned to knit from my grandmother. She taught me how to knit when I was a child. She showed me how to hold the needles, how to cast on, how to knit and purl, how to bind off, etc. She also taught me how to read knitting patterns and how to fix mistakes. She was very patient and supportive. She was my knitting mentor and inspiration. That's very nice. Do you still knit with your grandmother? Yes, I do. We knit together every week. We have a knitting club that meets at her house. We invite other knitters to join us. We share our projects, our tips, and our stories. We have a lot of fun and laughter. We also knit for charity. We donate our knitted items to people who need them, such as homeless people, refugees, orphans, etc. We feel good about helping others with our hobby. Wow, Emma, that's amazing. You have a very meaningful and enjoyable hobby. I admire you for that. Thank you, Ava. You are very kind. How about you? What is your favorite hobby? Well, my favorite hobby is reading books. Well, that's the end of the introduction of the podcast. I will let Ava tell you about her favorite hobby in the next part of the podcast. Stay tuned to find out what it is and why she likes it. Before we end this part of the podcast, let's review some of the new words and phrases that we used in our conversation. Ava, can you help me with that? Sure, Emma. I'll say the word or phrase, and you explain what it means. Okay? Okay, let's do it. The first word is craft. Craft means an activity that involves making things by hand, usually with skill and creativity. The next word is loop. Loop means a shape or a line that curves around and crosses itself, or something that has this shape. The next word is cast on. Cast on means to make the first row of stitches on a knitting needle. The next word is knit. Knit means to make fabric by looping yarn together with knitting needles. The next word is purl. Purl means to make a stitch by putting the yarn in front of the needle and then passing it over the needle from right to left. 
The next word is bind off. Bind off means to finish the last row of stitches on a knitting needle and remove them from the needle. The next word is pattern. Pattern means a set of instructions or a diagram that shows how to make something, such as a piece of clothing or a craft. The next word is mentor. Mentor means a person who gives advice, guidance, and support to someone who is learning or doing something. The last word is charity. Charity means an organization or an activity that helps people who are poor, sick, or in need. Well done, Ava. You did a great job with the vocabulary. How do you feel? I feel good. I learned some new words and phrases, and I practiced my speaking and listening skills. That's awesome. I'm proud of you, Ava. And I'm sure our listeners are too. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Thank you for having me, Emma. It was a pleasure. And thank you, listeners, for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Learn English with Podcast Conversations. Don't forget to tune in next time. Until then, have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. Bye for now. Bye, everyone.